know Riley is to love her. She is as funny as she is kind, as loyal as she is honest, as driven as she is brave. Riley, I am in constant awe of you. I think in every universe we probably find each other and drive my mom to insanity. <laughs> My uh, friendship with Mitchell dates back to the third day of kindergarten. But ever since that day, we've been best friends, from countless sleepovers to wakeboarding around the lake every 4th of July, screaming at the top of our lungs. <laughs> there was a point during our lives, uh, it was the spring of 2020. Life wasn't going the greatest. We had COVID going on. We were kind of stressed out. So we decided the cure to this was a boys trip. It was the last night of the trip, and I wanted to go out with a bang, so I was like, let's go, let's go party, let's go out. And we ended up meeting Riley that night. <laughs> and the two seemed to hit it off immediately, and the rest is history from there. Never in a million years did I expect to meet my soulmate out on a girl's trip, but God has funny jokes. And nearly about two years later, standing here in front of you today, I know this is exactly where I'm meant to be. I am so incredibly thankful for the authentic man you are. You showed me the true meaning of agape love solely through the way you carry yourself, lift others around you, and from the respect and kindness you've always given me. Today, as I submit and devote my life to you, I can't help but thank God for you and his unconditional love. I love you. Stunner. This is too easy. <laughs> yeah, you're an absolute stunner, man. It means so much to me to see many people who love my daughter. I always wanted my firstborn to be a boy, and then I got Riley. I wish you both happiness and love. Riley, I love you, my boy in a princess dress. It's beautiful. The world has the idea that marriage is simply a legal contract. Yeah, but ready. at the same time, it's a spiritual contract. When the words of faith are spoken according to the Word of God between two born-again believers, the power of God goes into operation. There's an actual miracle that takes place when the faith of the two of you is released in God's power. He that loves his wife loves himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourishes it and cherishes it, even as the Lord, the Church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife. And they too shall become one flesh. Saw it flash across the night sky. You said, don't be alarmed. Not my good to turn around? Yeah, you can turn around. Oh my god. You look great. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Jeez. The gardenia. Yeah, this is an amazing looking dress. You were right. Only you, you like could it? pull it off. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. god you look so beautiful. There's a place I know that feels cold. A ring's a very special thing, a token of your faith and your love. It's a never-ending circle that indicates the continuing love of God, a love that never fails, never presents itself haughty nor puffed up. The love of God and the faith of God is what causes this power to move in your lives. I want you to wear these rings as a continual reminder of your faith, a continual reminder of the confession of faith that you've made to each other and to God. Mitchell, take this ring and place it on her finger and say this to her. With this ring, With this ring, I thee whip. I thee whip. I give it as a token of my faith. I give it as a token of my faith. I believe with all my heart that this is forever. I believe with all my heart that this is forever. Is my love and my faith. It's my love and my faith. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus before Almighty God and by the power of the Holy Spirit of God, I now pronounce you together as one. You are now husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Absolutely. Congratulations. It's party time!
Mitch and Riley, the more time I get to spend around the two, the more and more I realize how similar the two of you are and how perfect you are for one another. I see how happy Mitch is, and I'm so thankful that he was able to find you. They say God works in mysterious ways, and the story of how you two met is a perfect testament to that. Cheers to Daytona Beach. Yeah.